So do you always struggle with a very sad looking winged eyeliner which makes your eyes look extremely droopy? Then I guess you're doing your wing like this, like how I'm doing it right now. And especially if you have hooded eyes, doing a wing is a huge struggle. I've been there, done that, and let me show you how to create the perfect winged eyeliner which will lift your eyes and make sure that it does not look like this, especially if you have wrinkles on your lid and it also if you have very less lid space. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect wing for that. So let's start off. So throughout the look, I'm going to be using the Faces Matte Made in Heaven ink eyeliner pen. You can, of course, use any kind of eyeliner. Now, as you can see, I have a hooded eye where the crease is coming almost after my outer V of the eye. Now the first thing to know is to create that angle and the angle is just your lower lash line extending outwards. So make sure it does not go downwards and you're exactly creating a line at that point. So the guideline will be to follow your lower lash line and make sure it does not go downwards. So I'm exactly keeping my pen at the lower lash line and I'm pressing it to create that stamp and I'm connecting it towards my outer V. Now I'm going to close my eye and put a dot around around two third of the eye, somewhere around the outer corner. After that, we're extending our wing slightly. You can of course keep it a lot more shorter. So exactly above the outer V, you can see I'm making a vertical line. And this vertical line should be made at such a length that does not cross your crease. Now, what happens is that because your crease is coming down, there's a lot of chances that that area, your wing will not be smooth. Plus it makes your eyes look droopy. Now we're just gonna connect that from the outer corner, like the outer line, which we made. And I'm just gonna connect that towards that vertical line and we're gonna color it. As you can see, I'm not starting from the outermost part of the line. I'm actually starting halfway in. That way it looks very thin towards the outer edge. Now we're gonna slowly start to connect that towards that dot which we kept at two third of the eye at the beginning and that is going to give you a perfect half wing. So this is only there in the place where you have some space and once it starts going into your eye, it gets harder. Now I'm lifting my eyebrows and I'm applying a little bit of eyeliner here. That way it's extremely thin and does not look thick and it doesn't look like it's standing out. So this way your wing is going to look a lot more seamless and natural and you wouldn't actually identify where exactly it has started. So that is the reason why I'm lifting my eyebrow. That way it does not become way too thicker. So this is is how you can create a very simple wing and in case you want to kind of amp it up a little bit you can do the inner wing the inner wing will again follow the same rule where you're extending the upper lash line so imagine that the upper lash line is coming all the way down so i'm slightly creating that and i'm slightly adding that towards the lower lash line use a little bit of kajal if you want in that area because it's almost towards the inner part of the eye so kajal will be a lot more eye safe so you can apply a little bit of kajal use a little bit of concealer and clean it in case you mess it up it's very common especially in the first few times when you're trying it out so concealer will be your best friend go ahead with a little mascara and this is your completed look you can genuinely see the difference between how we usually typically do a wing versus how it looks with a half wing so this is going to be great for all eye shapes but it's especially meant for those of you who have hooded eyes or if you have very less lid space i hope you all try it out and let me know down in the comment section below on how it goes